Hello everybody and welcome back to day three of the 12 days of RJ's trains and I'm not at my layout today so what's up with that? Let's dive into it. So right now I'm back in DC. It's pretty much where I live close to full time now, unlike Long Island where my layout is and I film all of my videos. Today I'm hanging out with a couple of other train YouTubers that you might have heard of before. Sid's Trains and Chris Trains and things. We're gonna head to a few stores here in the DC, Virginia area, and uh, it's gonna make for a great day. And tonight we're heading over to Chris RBP's house for a running session. So make sure to tune in, see what we picked up, the stores that we checked out, and what we're running on Chris's layout tonight. But it's time for me to drive to Sid's house, and thankfully he's only about a 15 minute drive from me, so we'll be there soon. Okay, so I was driving the entire time, but finally here with Chris and Sid, we made it to Tiny Tim's here in Ashland, so let's see what we can find. One of the neat things about Tiny Tim's is that it's located in Ashland, Virginia, and the whole old Main Street is built around the now CSX mainline, old RF&P mainline between Washington, D.C. and Richmond. So this is right outside of his store, and this is an Amtrak regional pulling into the station. But Tiny Tim's has a great selection of a lot of MTH and Lionel stuff, now, you're not going to get the best prices here just because they rely on a lot of train tourism in the area, and not everybody knows that there are better prices out there, and it's a lot of people who don't know a lot about the hobby, so they can get away with charging a few extra dollars than most train stores usually do. Uh, there were a few things that caught my eye in the store, but overall I ended up walking out with one boxcar, not pictured here, which I'll show off in a minute. But also, check out Sid looking at some HO scale stuff. I think he might be uh, converting us. But overall, uh, Ashland is a beautiful little town just north of Richmond, and we had a fun time checking it out. Now on to the next stop. So our next stop was Toy Trains and Collectibles in Manassas, Virginia. And man, were we not ready for what we were about to walk into. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get one. I'm getting a green one. You must. You must. I got dibs on a green one. You must put this raw footage. Yeah, no, it's it's 100. <laughs> okay, so we're here. At, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're here at Toy Trains and Collectibles in Manassas, Virginia, and we just went here on a limb. It's they don't have a website, so you only have to come in person. And this place is a honey hole. It is um, really nice. Really great. A lot of product, a lot of new product at really good prices. We're screwed here. I am never going to financially recover from this. Sid, we've been here for five minutes. Sid already has about five freight cars in his hand. Chris has a There's few a freight cars. Pile, I've, got it, I've got an engine picked out and a couple of freight cars. And we've been here for five minutes. So uh, wish us good luck. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> okay, so Chris has a pile of rolling stock, a building. Sid just got a train set. Train You'll have set. to see what it is. Yeah. I and he has a pile of rolling stock. And I've got an engine and a few freight cars picked out. So uh yeah, this place is a honey hole. Link to it and everything that you need to know about it is down in the description. If you find yourself in the Washington DC area, check this place out. It is a honey hole. So this is half of our pile. Now there are some customer pre-orders over here, but this was about half of everything that the three of us got. All right, so we just finished up at Toy Trains and Collectibles here at Manassas. This is my buddy, Evan. He really helped us out today. Uh, everything about the store is gonna be down in the description. It's right off the highway here in Manassas. So if you're driving through, make sure to stop by. Great people, great prices. Uh, we have a trunk load and then a backseat full of trains after coming here. So uh, let's head over to RPP's house and run them around the layout. But thanks again, Evan. Yeah, no problem. And overall for the day, this was the final damage. We've got a trunk load of cars 
and then a seat and a half taken up in the back row. So yeah, we really load it up at Toy Trains and Collectibles. Make sure to go check them out. So it's a few days after the fact, and I realized while editing this video that I need to let you guys know what I picked up because when you're gonna see it running on Chris's layout in a minute, it's not gonna have any context. So let's just dive into the things that I picked up on my day with Chris Trains and things and Sid's Trains. So first up, uh, like I said earlier, I only picked up one thing at Tiny Tim's and it's this Amtrak uh, Express box car. And this is an MTH Premier model. Uh, it's a few years old and it doesn't really fit in with the era of modeling that I do. Uh, these ran in the 90s with a lot of Amtrak trains, and I don't really model Amtrak in the 90s. But today, Amtrak actually still uses these boxcars a lot of the time as tool cars for maintenance of way. So Nicole and I are going to weather this thing up and make it look uh, like it's been sitting around for 20 years because that's how a lot of these boxcars are today. So really cool to get, um, and I was glad that I was able to help out Tiny Tim's train. So next up, it is the engine that I was referring to earlier when we first arrived at Toy Trains and collectibles. And it is a Lionel Legacy Southern GP30. Uh, this is from 2014. This one, 2601, is actually preserved and in operation today at the North Carolina Transportation Museum. Uh, and its sister engine is actually at the TVRM in Chattanooga. When Lionel did this run of GP30s, they made the one in Chattanooga and they made a one in North Carolina. Uh, my buddy Evan, he was actually running his own model of this engine when we walked in the store. That was one of the first things I noticed, and then I realized they had a second one up on that magnificent wall, and I picked it up. And the cool thing is, is that you'll see this running in just a minute. It's it's a beautiful model. Got it for a steal of a price, a steal of a price. It's my first legacy diesel, which I'm really excited for. So once again, thank you, Evan, for helping me out. I'm really excited for this. What would be a Southern Diesel without another southern piece of rolling stock. This is actually one of the brand new MTH box cars. Uh, they just announced it a few months ago and it just arrived at dealers. This was actually like the first day that this thing was out on the shelf. Uh, I bought it. Fantastic, you know, just like any other MTH Premier model, you're gonna get a quality model with lots of extra details. The funny story about this box car and the Amtrak box car for that is that Nicole told me that she would be very mad at me if I bought another box car, because I already have a lot of box cars in my collection. Well, the joke here is, is that I bought another two box cars. So uh, um, she can't be too mad. One of them is a craft project for the two of us. And the other one is a Southern box car and her being from Chattanooga, uh, she's partial to the Southern. But either way, really cool. And uh, glad to see one of these new MTH post Mike Wolf slash actually being an actual company uh, pieces of rolling stock. So, yep. Really, really nice. And the last piece of rolling stock is another brand new MTH Premier model. And it is a flat car with garbage canisters. Uh, my buddy DJ over at DJ's Dose Gauge Trains got these. And uh, they're, I saw pictures, really nice. We walked into the store and they had a whole stack of them for as good of a price as you'll see at any other big box train store on the internet. And I thought, what the heck, I'd pick one up for myself. So this one is, which is the United States Waste Corporation. Uh, this company actually runs garbage trains from New York City via the New York and Atlantic Railway, which is the Long Island Railroad short line, to CSX, and they come through DC. So I've probably seen this exact car roll through DC at least one time before. So it's really cool to have that personal connection to it. I might need to pick up more so I can have a whole garbage train, but for right now, it's a really great piece, and uh, I'm really excited to have them in my collection. It's something different and I like having different things in my collection. And last but not least, uh, it's something that you're probably not expecting for me to pick up. My layout is relatively complete and there really isn't room to add much of anything else. But I picked up this MTH Rail King Tippy's Tacos Mexican Restaurant. And it's huge, you know, this thing wouldn't fit on my layout as it is right now. But uh, Nicole is quite the connoisseur of Mexican food. And she's told me since pretty much day one that I need a Mexican restaurant for the layout. And the crazy thing is, is that there aren't that many Mexican restaurants that have been made in O-Scale besides Tippy's Tacos. I uh, walked into the store and it was sitting brand new on the shelf and uh, just so happened to be added to the pile. 
at the cash register. So, yep, this will probably stay here in DC for now, just because there's really nowhere to put it on my train layout, but hey, that's totally fine. There is going to be a new train layout, hopefully sometime in the very near future. All right, well, now that you've finally seen everything that I picked up, uh, I just wanna give one last thanks to toy trains and collectibles. Uh, we might be doing a meetup there, maybe sometime after the new year. So be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, if you're in the DC area, go stop by and tell them that you saw our videos and that's why you're stopping in. Uh, Evan really helped me out tremendously. So I, I totally recommend and they're definitely my new local train store here down in DC. All right, let's go check out Chris's land. Thank <laughs> you. 